is six. Okay, so uh, uh, tomorrow I have a math class at six o'clock. Some of you have been with me sessions working on facial expressions, everything else like that. Last week I didn't have many people. I don't expect many people, but it's a sit-down class where I try to get you guys to interact a little bit more. I, I, I do the, what's called breakout rooms, more like a conference, a breakout conference, uh, where I give exercises, kind of more of a uh, thinking about the body and thinking about the presentation. Uh, so, but today is obviously a workout day. So let me get set up here. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Um, I haven't I haven't received an email about the mask class. Okay, you may need to just go to the website to see it to get it. Um, try looking there. Uh, they all all after the class is over, I'll make sure Bennett. I'll ask to see if he sent it out. But I know they're not. I, tr I know they're trying to get away from, you know, just mass sending emails all the time. Um, Oh, so cool. he's trying to kind of you know keep the number down so no one feels you know overloaded with emails. Oh, okay. So it's it's a, it's a it's a you know, so I'm gonna mute people. So. And we're gonna, there'll be a chance to talk at the end of class. I'll hang around a little bit. Okay, just starting to move now. Boom. And so I have a nice oh, big wide gear. step. I'll get my I'll get my gear out of the way here. So step. And if you're just joining for the first time, I usually I have a stick, two weights, light light in the medium, and a chair, and also a cushion. So Again, I have a wide step here, crouching down between them. I, it's a transfer of weight between the two legs. Once the weight's on the other leg, coming up, balance. Hey, Jack, I can't see you. Oh, you can't see me? No. Nope. Too far away? Or I can only see Jenny. Ah, uh, oh, am I not the host? Hold on here, because the room was open before I got here. Jenny, were you the, were, were you the host? Of the, were you the host? Um, I can, can you, see all the little, the other people, mm -hmm. but I can't, yeah. when I see, let me see if I find your name. Let's see. I can see your name. Okay. <laughs> now, but I still see, I still see Jenny. I can see you in the little box, but not the big box. Okay. I think what happened here is, um, I didn't get it. I get, I didn't start it in, in, in mode. Well, can everybody else see him in the big box? No. I'm, I, no, I'm the host. Box. I'm the host, yeah. I can see Jack in the big box. I wonder what I, maybe, should I get out and try again? Um, yeah. Well, well I'll, I'll just, as long as I can see you in the little box, I'll be okay, I guess. I keep switching from people to people on my screen. Hey, 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 hey. When they talk. Yeah, I just in the big part, I just have Jenny and she's not even talking. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, so, so close, the, close the window down and bring, bring it open again. Technical difficulties here, guys. I think, first for me too. I think, Jack, you need to mute everybody when- yeah, I will. Oh, okay. But I just, I, again, she couldn't, uh, Karen couldn't connect here. She wasn't able to see me. Right. But, so I was trying to pick a technical issue. So K Karen, try logging in, logging off, and coming back in again, okay. And muting people again. Um, okay, going back, keep going side to side here. Side to side, nice big step. Again, I'm looking for a nice big transfer of weight, a balance, and then a, it's basically falling to the other side. So I'm not, I'm coming out of my, out of my normal range here. So I'm not taking a normal step here. I'm taking a falling step. So I really fall into one side and coming up. And then coming down here, just get a little more crouch. And again, falling to get a nice wide step and up. So now I'm gonna have a crossover step and a crossover step. Again, those of you who are dancers, this will be really familiar. 
right now, and right now my hips are pain, pointed forward the whole time. I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to keep them from turning. We'll, we'll get to a little turning here, but really trying to keep the hips, my whole rest of the body pointed forward. Now we're going to come down to a curtsy squat. So if we ever meet the queen, we'll know what to do. I'm really trying to let that hip hinge or twist, move down here. I'm trying to keep get as much flexion inside the hip joint as I can and going down. So my hip here, pushing back, coming up. So you put your hand right in that hip joint and push back. Right in that fold. going and now, now we're going to start with a wide stance here and we're going to move the hips around there's a wide stance moving the hips other direction Now feet together, same thing. This is a little more balanced though. I'm trying to get a nice stretch through the, in the hip area mostly. Going forward, I'm kind of leaning back. Going back, I'm leaning forward. Switch directions. Now I'm having, I'm, now I'm in a lunge position, kind of facing to the side. I'm turning, facing the other side again. So if you have a, a narrow stance, it's a lot harder, a wider stance here, a little more balanced. So find the spot where you you think it's challenging here. If I'm facing, I'm turning the hips and the feet, face the other direction. Again, if you want to step, come up and then down, that's okay. If you want to stay down, that's a little harder. Okay, so I'm in I'm in a lunge stance, the back knee. Is pointed toward the ground, and I finish up. Again, if you with the whatever position, with the leg down, straight down below me, and I really should be a little bit in balance here. Should be struggling just a little bit. If you're if it's if you're really kind of square, it's a little too easy. Make it harder. Make it harder for you. And again, getting that knee close to the floor makes it a lot harder. at your pace, back and forth. Don't look at me to say, oh, I have to go left and right when Jack's going left and right. Coming back out, walking, walking a little bit. Move around here, shake off a little bit. Another stretch here, up and over. Want to get a stretch along the side here. I've got legs a little bit wider than hips. I'm pushing my, I'm actually pushing my far hip away and letting the, I'm not pushing, I'm not pulling, I'm not bouncing. I'm letting the top arm just stretch. For those who sit down a lot, this is a, this is a tight stretch. 
And I want the arm above my head as much as possible, not in front, it be behind. Come up slowly, and then down the other side. Okay, take your time, push the hip out. I'm sliding the hip to the other side, and this is just laying down as much as I can. I'm controlling it a little bit. Coming up. So right now we're going to step forward, come to a kneel, step back, bring the bring the, bring your foot down, bring your knee down. Excuse me. So on one, one foot stay stationary. I'm forward, come down as far as I'm comfortable, and I'm back as far as I'm comfortable, going down as far as I'm comfortable. Again, if I take a wide step, kind of a 45, it's a lot more balanced. If I take a narrow step, a lot less balanced. A lot harder. And again, I, I love that part where you have to really throw your weight back to get you stand up. So I'm really trying to get that foot, let that foot just fall in front of me and catch myself straight down, straight up, and I push off to get myself to go back. I see all these bodies just bobbing up and down. Perfect. Nice and slow. Again, make it difficult by the depth of your step and the depth of your lunge, how deep you go with your knee. Switch legs. The other leg now is anchored. Just inside here. And again, if you need the stick, there's a good place to have the stick if you need it, if you need an extra little bounce. But I would start with bounce, I would start with a wide step first, a 45 degree step first, then I'd go to the stick. And again, you want to be stepping far enough out so then when you come back up, you have to push yourself up out of that front foot and out of the back foot. Okay, coming down to the ground with your pillow or your cushion, just have it nearby. Again, you can use it or not use it. If you're on a hard floor, I recommend using it. We're coming down right now to our knees, all fours. The knees on the, on the cushion pillow or on the ground. But like I say, if you're on a hardwood floor, it can hurt. So you're just gonna kick up and then kick to the side and down. Kick up, bring the knee back, and then kick about 45 degrees out. So if I turn around, I kick straight back and straight up to the side, 45, and I switch to the other leg. Now we're going to, as we kick back to the side, we're going to get a little bit of a kind of a face plant, but don't plant it. I'm just kind of doing a mini push up here, not coming down really far, but I'm doing the same leg move. I kick back, I kick out to the 45. I'm just bringing my nose somewhere in between my hands.
if you bring your face in front of your hands, it's a lot harder. If your face kind of closer to maybe between your hands in your body weight zone, it'll be a little bit easier. Turning over, sit, sit, sit up position. I'm sitting on the floor right now. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up to boat and go back down. I'm coming up to boat and I'm going back down. So, side. So I'm sitting up, coming up, get about eh, a couple of seconds of boat, coming up down. Coming up to boat, coming down. Again, your boat can, you don't have to lift the legs. You can just come here. Just Again, I'm using my core right here to hold myself up and I pull myself up. And I can rest. Again, if you need to put your hands, like rest. I come up and then come sit back up. Make it a little harder, just hold it a little longer. Important thing here is that your lower back doesn't bend. You're trying to really keep that lower back straight. That hip turned underneath. That's hard to do. Okay, coming back to all fours. So, child pose. And we're going to come up to plank and then back to child's pose. So right now, this is where we kind of a warm up here. Again, nice child's pose stretch. Come up to plank. Check my plank out. Kind of turning from side to side here to and take a break between ch for child's pose. And I want you to come up to this, to this uh, plank here, and I want you to tighten your glutes. Again, find the glutes. The glutes are this, these things back here that you've been sitting on all day. I want you to come up, tighten the glutes, and then come back down to rest. And see if you can really come up and isometrically tighten the glutes, and then take a rest. And you should be able to bounce quarters off those things. So when you tighten up, there's a lot of muscle back there. We don't, we don't use them a lot because we sit on them. And again, there's a lot of muscles in front and back that I have to tighten to get those glutes tight. So just come up, tighten, and then release. Now I'll go ahead and stay, stay, stay back in child's pose. We're going to do our power planks. And Dennis is going to tell me how many, with how many fingers, how many we're doing this this time, Dennis. Oh, he says five. Dennis says five. Okay, it'll be 20 seconds with 10 seconds off. So the first one doesn't count. The first one's warm up. So first warm up plank. Ready, go. 20 second plank. Come up to plank. Hold it. And just kind of feel it around. And I want you to start to move a little bit. And you're going to try to think of how to make these harder as we go along. Three, two, one, and down. 10 seconds rest. I recommend child's pose. But you can do what you want. Number one of our five coming up. Ready? Hup! We're in. We're in our power planks now. We're trying to work it harder. We're trying to hold them. We're moving. We're isolating certain muscles. Rocking. Put no arms wide or narrow. Don't make them easy. And down. Number one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Number two, come on up. Hop, we're in the plank. Come up, hold your plank, move around, move the shoulders around. 
Move something. Make it harder. After this one, you should be sweating. I want you to be sweating. And go! Oh! Number two, done. Number three, hope you had your breathing. Hup! Number three, go. So you're, you're doing a, a nice plank. Something different every time, I hope. Doesn't have to be. But there, there's something that's challenging for you. There's, there should be some pushing of your boundaries. Number three, hup! Done with number three. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hup, number four, we're on number four. This is this is really the, this is where we're getting good and warmed up. This is where we're starting to really trying to use every muscle in our body to manage. And more some actually. Ho! Number number four done. One more. One more. Make this hard. We're gonna get a little bit of break a, a, a little bit after this one. See what actual rest on this. Hup, last one up, last one up. Power plank. Make it work. Find something challenging. Ho! Come back to child's pose. Check your child's pose. Move your hips around. Shake out the arms. So we're on all fours here. Excuse me. Nice big breath. Let's do a little, little bit of cat cow here. Again, cat cow is moving the hips, turning the hips in, turning the ball down. It's like pulling the bowling ball down in your belly button, pulling the bowling ball off the other side. So really trying to turn the hips. Sometimes the belly button is a good way to think about it. Pulling the hips in and letting them the hips go. The back just happens to be stretching at the same time. Okay, from, from this position, from the all fours, I'm turning over on one side and then stopping to the all fours and turning over the other. So I'm coming to three-point stance reversed. So I bring one leg across the other and I let the body turn. And so I'm on one, le one arm and then two, two legs and don't stay there long. I'm all fours, cross and turn. I'll face this way. Okay, take a break. We're going to take, we're going to take a two-minute break here. I'm a little late in that, but we'll take a two-minute break, and we'll come back in two minutes. So, water, work, work around, move around. You want to, if you want to talk, write, be something. So, two-minute, two-minute break. Walk around. Water. If anyone is not sweating, please let me know, because I am. I didn't even do the planks. Mr. Sheridan, nice to see you to join us.
Another minute here. We're going to start with our weights. You want to find them. Once you can get them out of the closet, come dust them off. So I, I'll, I'll let you know when I want you to be challenging here, but most of the stuff we're starting off with is just to get warmed up here. Getting your one weight. Okay. It's about time. We're getting going again. That was that was a, that was a two minute break. I'm taking my one weight. Right in my holding right in my shoulder here, kind of sitting sitting in the shoulder here, popping it up and pushing it up, bringing it down slowly. Squatting as much as I'm comfortable, and then pushing it up as I'm going, pushing, using my using my standing up process to push the weight up, down. So we call this kind of throwing the weight up. I'm really trying to get the weight overhead. You shouldn't feel my arm in front necessarily. It should be right next to my ear. So I have my medium weight. You should do this with lightweight too. Switching sides. Nice wide stance. And when I'm pressing up, my heels are also going into the ground as I'm pressing up. Going back to the first side here, and now we're gonna add, we're gonna add to this. As I'm pressing up, I'm gonna turn 180 degrees, bring the weight down. Pressing up, turn, and bring the weight down. So as I'm pressing up, I'm turning. Again, you can break it down and do it as a single move, or you can make it a two-part move. So I push it up, turn, down. Squat, press up, hydro gauge, turn. Switch sides, switch arms, switch arms, I should say, switch which has the weight. Up. Turn. I never tell you which way to turn either. So that's okay. Turn whichever way you want to. Coming to the bent row position. This is one of my favorite positions because this is an isolation position where I try to isolate everything. I've got what they call a Z position going here. Knees are bent back and should be a perfect V from the side. So I'm really kind of got the hips pushed back, knees bent, back flat. Arm with the weight here is I'm pulling up, pulling up the weight up to the armpit and then back down. And really check your Z position here, your bent row position. And again, if you need to put a chair to kind of stabilize yourself, that's what I'm looking for. Every, the only thing that's really working is the arm and the shoulder on the one side. The bent row kind of keeps everything else 
immobilized. You know, if I'm, when I'm coming down, I'm letting the weight hang down for a little bit before I bring it up. So I'm not, I'm going to all up as high as I can, then I'm letting the weight relax as much as I can, letting the weight pull my arm out a little bit. Switch sides. Again, check your bent reposition. Butt down, back flat. You got a bend. I kind of put my other hand on my knee just trying to help, help stabilize. Standing up for a second, just passing the weight, passing the weight around your body, any which way you can for a second here, just to let the shoulders relax. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't our flamingo. This is just a relaxing exercise. So, bent row position here again, up, down, other side down. So passing back and forth here. And then I'm asking you to hear a little bit more speed, but don't 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 be tight and making sure the weight kind of falls down and drops. Then I'm kind of rolling it to the other hand. I'm trying to keep the rest of my body as still as I can. That bent row position kind of helps me do that. I'm going faster again. I've got a nice flat back as far as I can. Bent knees, butt sticking out back. And I've got a little speed going on here. Just something you can manage and still control the weight. Okay, stand up. Breathe for a second. And I'm going to basically come down, squat, and then press the weight up. I'm, kind of, I'm, going, to, I'm going to kind of stop in the bent row position here, press the weight up, and then come back down. Put the weight down, stand up, then come down, grab it again, come, come up to the bent row, turn, raise the weight to the ceiling, and back down, put it back down on the ground. Again, you want to make it easier, kind of set, set your weight kind of long ways up. If I can show right here. It's a little easier to grab. So squat. Bring the weight up to bent row. Twist up with the weight. Arms straight up overhead. Point to the ceiling. And then back down. And stand up. Come down. Wait. I'm really tight on that side today. Wow. Turning. Couple more. Okay, we're coming back down to the mat. We're down to the ground. We're down to the cushion. 
You can keep your weight with you. Start with the cushion behind you here. You can. Uh, my cushion not big enough here. I'm coming up to what they call tabletop and back down. Push it up. Really trying to work the shoulder area. Pull the scapulas together. own pace and this is not a ballistic move nice and comfortable now it's going to your side I'm gonna I'm gonna put the foam pad under my hips here and on the side here and my legs are together so first one here is just a clam I'm opening it up and bring it down. So this is normally where we'd have bands between the on, the on the knees here, but we'll get to the hard part here in a little bit. Right now I'm just looking for a nice range of motion. One hip is moving, the other hip is not. So switch sides. I'll, I'll turn around. I'm out in the far distance here. Camera. I've got to get enough money here so I can afford a cameraman. We can do close, better close-up shots. Right now we're just going for range of motion. Top leg's working, bottom leg not. Back to the first side, and you're flipping. I'm flipping up this, around again. You don't. You can just turn over. This time, bring bring the legs off the floor, and both legs are going to be moving here. So I'm starting about four, kind of legs up about 45 degrees here, or something off the ground. Heels are together, feet are together. Push these apart, bring these back together. So the suspended clam. That's probably enough on that side. Let's switch up the other side. Kind of, again, if I need to put, the, if I need to have my weight here to kind of help me, help hold me down, that's fine. But my hips are, my legs are in the air, 40 degrees up, and I push these apart, push them together again, it's in midair, somewhere in midair. Take breaks as we need them. Come with all fours. You can put the cushion under your knees or not. Depends on your condition here. So, one leg back, turn. I can be on opposite arm, opposite leg. And then I step a foot out, and I'm going to be this hand on my left arm and right leg, turning up, 
again, I, I can have all three points down or I can have two points down. So turning to the side plank, and just as much, just as, much as a turn as you want. You can either put down, or get the three point, or you can get a two point, opposite hand, opposite arm. Face the camera. If your wrists are hurting, this is a good point, point place to use a cushion. You can all, also do this from your elbows. Take a break, child's pose here, child's pose. So, a little bit of breather here. Next couple, we've got a couple more before the break. So what I have for here, and I'm on all fours. Coming up, walking the legs around, time to sit it down. And I'm gonna walk the legs, kind of bring my butt up, Walk the legs back till I'm behind. And so I'm going to do the same side going one way, and the second time through, I'm going the other side. So I'm walking my hips up and around. Again, it's going to be a little clumsy. There's no nice way to do this one, but I'm putting it up and I'm switching my weight to the one arm and bringing myself around. So on the side. I believe this way to go this way. Okay. So, walking my weights foot around. So I sit down, walk my feet back, and then the other way. Again, take breaks between them. I want your breathing to kind of, uh, I want you to be able to control your breath. You can be out of breath a little bit. I want you to be able to you feel like you've, you've, you've got a, a nice pace to your breath. You're not labored breathing. Okay, so if you come down, sit down, take a break. And that, that's going to take us to our second break here. Time for another drink. Walk around, catch your breath. Scream at you, scream, you want to scream at me, yell at me? Good time to do it. Hey, Gina. I don't see you moving, Gina. Hey, Tim. Mark, let's see. Got two, who, two gyms. So Karen. You, you got it figured out yet? Nice, I see good movement. Mark, your left arm, your left arm, why are you moving backwards? Behind you, there you go. Another minute here, another half minute. Standing up here, we're going to start, we're going to go we're going to go with our chair, our, the chair next here. Chair is going to be the next thing we will start off with. Chair stool. 
Not a not a not a high stool. You want you want the kind of easy chair. So we're going to start off here with some sit touches. Come so coming down. Coming down. Noticing my shoes untied. Tying it up. So we're start we're starting again. Coming down, sitting down, and then standing up. What I'm looking for really here is keeping the weight in front. So when I come up, I'm not falling forward. I'm bringing my weight under my feet and coming straight up. And now we're just kind of come down and touch the chair. Again, if you need to put the pillow down to kind of move, bring the chair a little higher, if the chair is too low, put the pillow on it, kind of bring the chair up a little bit. Here's where I'm going to have you take your stick and you're going to keep on moving to keep here, have a stick in front. So I'm going to hold the stick out in front. Just kind of keep that stick nice and even in front. If you've got a heavy stick, you're out of luck. Now I'm now I'm going to do a little bit more movement with the stick here. Same motion here as I stick front in front. I sit down into the side. So I'm one that, one arm up, one arm down. Touch it in front. Now I'm going to bring it high overhead and down. Overhead and I'm still doing butt touches. Chair. Coming all the way up here, just without, without the chair for a second. Overhead. Again, find a position that's comfortable. Wide position or narrow. And I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put my, pull my shoulder blades together behind me here. So you can see, I don't know if you can see. So I'm trying to pull my shoulder blades back. And I'm just kind of using the bar to kind of help hold the position. So I'm pulling it back and then forward. Pull it back again. It's good. The, hard, the further you go out, the easier it's going to be by pulling my shoulder blades back, putting, putting the, push, pushing the bar behind me, behind my head, and then let, resting forward. This is that part of the shoulder blades that we really need to keep as tight as possible will stop us from starting this little droop thing. So this is the part that they say this is the most important part that stops that, 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 that turn to the back, the curvature of the back. So I come back here. Pull the shoulder blades together as much as I can. Relax. Pull together. Relax. And again, if you want to get a little harder, bring your hands a little closer together. With the stick now. This is this is a this is a movement art. We'll see how we can see how we do this one here. So I'm starting in front, bring the side, behind, side, in front. So start in front, I bring it to the side, behind, side, behind. So we the stick is going around. I'm, I'm going to do it as slow as I can. You can So really one hand is moving at a time, other direction. Notice one hand comes across, the other hand kind of takes over and down. Not a perfect explanation. So I've got my arms fully extended the whole time here, side. Behind me, side down. So I'm not bending. There's no bend in my hand. You look the side here. Up side, kind of 
over top and down. Keeping, keeping, keeping this down to the ground with you, the stick down the ground here. And we're going to start up here with this stick raise and a stick raise. Here I'm not taking a break in between unless I need it. I'm doing that kind of turn motion again. And again, I pull, when I bring it up, I'm pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulder blade back, straight arm. The sticks should kind of give you an idea of how far you're going and how far you're level. If the wrists are hurting here, take a break. Coming seated forward here, a boat, kind of a boat position. We have our stick kind of up and right in front of us here. And some of you have seen me do this before. I'm, so it's a butt walking, butt cheek walking. I'm putting the weight to one butt cheek. This big comes up. I'm pushing the hip forward, come down, up, down. And again, if I kind of show it with a stick, let me see it from the side here. Now I'm going backwards. Okay, and sometimes, and sometimes I'm using my feet to kind of push a little bit maybe, or to pull, that's okay. So forward, back, up. Four butt cheeks forward, four butt cheeks back. How's that? Let me see. And the stick should, have an idea, should kind of give you an idea of what your chest is doing, what your back is doing. Can you use? If you're doing this on hardwood floor, I'm sorry. Okay, back to all fours here. On the floor here. Okay, okay. I want this time. I want. I want to push up. Nice and slow. And with these, this is what we call slow boys. Okay. I'm coming down. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it can be in front. It can be in, it can be back here. But I want them slow. One. Two, three, four, and five. Then take a break and then at your own pace, but when you start, make them slow. I have them for my knees here. Take a come back, child's pose, whatever you need. When you're ready again, one, three, four, and five. Nice and slow. You can make them easier by, by kind of being more back and keeping your weight a little behind you. Make them harder by bringing your weight more in front. Now I'm going to that chair in front of me again. I'm on my knees. If you want to put your, you want to put your cushion. I'm leaning on the chair. Coming up the plank. Step on the side. Coming up. Now I'm in a, in a deep lunge position. So 
Put the hands back down, back to a, a chair plank, back to your knees. Come up to plank. Bring that foot all the way around, see if you can get it all the way up to the chair, and then stand up. This should feel a little unusual because it's probably a deeper plank than you're used to. That's what I want. And down. Up to a chair plank. Bring that one leg around. Should be up at the chair level here. And then stand up. Notice I have kind of a wider stance here. If I want to make it harder, I'm going to be a narrow stance. And I'm here, I might have to use the chair a little bit. Up, and then I come back, bring the hands back to the chair. Up, and back down. Up, plank, spider the leg. Deep, stand up for the lunge, and back down. I'm planking, one leg up, we're gonna call it a spider, bring this, lean up, up, to the, up, to your, up to your arm, and standing up. That should be a nice deep lunge. Back down. And I take as much rest as I need before I go to the next. Now, I, when I come up, I want to do some pulsing. So now I'm up in a plank. I'm really trying to be working my pulsing straight up and down. A couple of those, come back down the plank, come back to your knees. Pulsing. Again, that, that back foot is straight out, the heel is straight out. You've you got it all from a plank here. Spider, lunge, pulse. Find a way to make these hard. Last thing to do today, on the back of your chair. I am in a plank position here. Spiders up. So, Again, whatever grab makes you lift, lift, okay the wrist here. And I'm, I'm planking back here behind the chair, so it's a very tall plank. And I'm bringing the leg up and down. Up and down. I bring it to the outside of the chair of my hand. So I'm get harder, bring the leg, bring the knee higher. Okay, guys, come back down the chairs, sit down, breathe. And I want to see your smiles. That was a good, that was a good workout by my book. Dennis, you got it. Again, I love the also body. So again, I want to see a smile, guys. Part of the workout is just practicing the smile, putting it on. Tim, it's a good force smile. Gina, I like that one. That, that has a lot of... Relaxation to it. Stan, that looks good. Beth. Okay, there it is. Got it. Jenny, got it. Brenda. I like that one, Brenda. That's nice. That's natural. Weird and I can't see you very much. And then Karen, don't see you at all. Um, oh, because you're off the side, Ann. There, there you are. I see it. See you in the side of the camera. There you go. Lead in. There you go. Okay. You can take the mute off. You can complain. I'd say any complaints. Send it to Dennis. He'll, he'll, he'll put them together into a, a, a summary report as you need it. Thank so. you, Jim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. I mean, this is this is just this is challenging for me as it is for you. Just trying to think think of how to get the routine, and you guys are showing up, so I'm going to show up too.
Thanks, yep. Jack. Everybody have a good evening. Thanks, Jack. Thank you for coming. Julia, hi. Hey, Gina. So I'm going to hang around a little while if anyone wants to talk, but this is the, class. the class is over. Thanks, okay. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Thanks. Hi, Mary. Thank you. You liking the lockdown? Uh, it's challenging. Yeah. Uh, I, I miss I miss this place being full. I mean, that's the biggest problem. I mean, that's that's the biggest problem. Is I'm used to you know talking to you guys, hearing you guys, and <laughs> hearing you guys bitch and moan. You're missing all my good jokes. Yeah, we're <laughs> Dennis didn't hear the bad names I called him when he said five. <laughs> I had a good idea. <laughs> I bet you did. I got to figure out how to switch it up on Dennis so he, he doesn't know what's coming anymore. So. Yeah, don't. Dennis always says five because he knows that I'm going to be like, no, no, three, Dennis, three. Oh, yeah, do three. Try, go, try three, please. I'm you waiting for that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, again. I like I like the planks because there's really a whole body, it's connectivity, and it's a good place. It's a good place for the warm up. So, um, you know, okay, so you guys know me. Every, every yeah, everyone here. I oh, Stan, I haven't worked with much, but everyone else, everyone else is very, very familiar. So, so it's a nice. It, before we've already set the routine, we already have the plan going. You guys know how to fall into it. So, I just hope you're pushing it. I, Mark, I hope you're going. Are you going running, right, Mark? I ran before. Oh, oh, sure, 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 sure. You're, you're on mute. Jack? Yeah. Anne is a friend of mine from Connecticut. Ah, okay. It's, hope she, I hope she likes the class. Well, she attended. I told her about it Tuesday, and by Friday, she'd already attended three classes. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I, you're seeing a new side of us as teachers. I mean, I watched myself for the first time today, just about a short clip, some of my prior classes. Eh, it's like, okay, I, I still have to get a better idea of how this, you know, how I'm going to reach you guys um, and keep my pace, you know, going. Um, I've stopped watching so much on the, on the video because I figure I just, it takes too much time for me to try to check everyone out. Um, but I'm, I'm learning. I think it's gone amazingly well. Uh, I'm you know, just excited that you guys are doing it because for the first week we were on the shutdown I was like okay what am I going to do and then David did that video on YouTube so I did that one day and then I got the email saying we're going to be doing this I was so excited because you can only walk your dog so many times around the neighborhood <laughs> and all these all these videos by the way guys are on YouTube yeah. I saw them there so they're, they're out there already. Now Dave's getting the website ready to go that's going to be more tailored uh, to what you have. But, yeah, you'll be able to search, you know, workouts by Jack, workouts by um, uh, uh, Mary, workouts by, uh, by Krista, you know, workouts by Dave. Um, and so, I mean, one of the things we're planning to do here is also get some people in the background to be doing a little more demonstration so we can do a little better, better camera focus. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's right now. I'm the only one here, so uh, it's empty. This room is empty. It is really empty. That's just that's just strange to me. Um, well, Jack, you'll be happy to know my husband's. Yelled, he yelled at me the other day, so he's he's keeping me on my toes. <laughs> so he's uh, again. If you you know, it's it's basically just reminding, getting that reminders, that little push, just to kind of keep that. Keep working that that angle of okay. If this is this is not normal, Parkinson's is not does not is not define me. I have to define it. So it's kind of getting out there. Your voice right now. Your voice is really good. I don't know what you're doing, but maybe the camera, maybe the mic does makes you do that. No, I've been uh, I've been trying to walk a lot and stay kind of active as I possibly can because I've been working from home. So instead of just sitting at my kitchen table for eight hours, I get up and I walk around the house, I'll do something. You know, I might run downstairs and put a load of laundry in or go upstairs, take a quick shower, just just trying to stay moving so I'm not so stagnant at, at just sitting and working all day. Well, you're doing better than I am. I just, I plop down in, in my, my desk and I, I don't leave. And so and today, today I did. Today I, I went up, I actually went to the grocery store I knew it would be empty. I knew they wouldn't be people there today. So, 
How's it going, Reardon? Good. I'm still trying Good. to figure. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Well, I'm glad to see your face. Or yeah. part of it anyway. <laughs> What'd you know? say? He was. He he ragged on you a little bit. A little He's bit. pushing you. Just a little bit. I'm, He's kind of just kind of poking poking the bear. He's poking the bear. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Love you. I'm gonna go eat some BLTs. Okay. All right. Hey guys. You. Hey Jack, say hi to Liz for us too. I will. All right. We'll Thank see you. you guys soon. Yep. Care. Yep. Class class is now over. Thank God. <laughs> Adios.